Okay, right now we are here and uh, well, if you go ahead and click on this, you might also observe strange behavior like this. And if you check the log on this, here we do see that here it says that context is ready. So this is the print message that's being printed inside async load all data. And we have an error before that and here it says that null checker used on a null value. Now that's a very ordinary error that a lot of time happens. And why did it happen? One of the reasons if you click on this over here, here it says that this one actually is causing the problem. So here you said that this is not going to be null, but this is null. So somehow this is becoming null. Why? The reason is because as you see over here, when we call this init method, what init method? This init method we call it inside over here. Okay, we call this one, we call the init method, and then it comes over here, and then we load the data. All right, and as we load the data, well, over here actually, this triggering events and the states, the related states getting ready takes time, but you are already inside this build method. So, build method literally gets called very first. Now we can prove that. So over here, say, here I could say my build method. Okay, and we'll see that actually it gets called very first, much earlier than any other things happens. So let's go ahead and restart it. Of course, nothing is here, but when I click on this, definitely I will see that my build method gets called first. All right. Now here you see my build method. So build method is getting cold. That also means that over here uh, my block builder is getting cold, but my states and things and context, they're actually not ready yet. And we are trying to use it over here even before they are not ready. So how to uh, uh, prevent this thing? Now one of the ways to prevent this thing I just simply go ahead and check this item is ready or not whether this is null or not okay and then you can call rest of your widget and the related values so it's easy to do so now let's go ahead and do it so I'm going to cut it over here and then I'm going to check based on this state so this is our state variable which is actually refers to course detail states and then over here I'm going to grab my variable which is course item and object I'll check if this is null if this is null show a container here otherwise you have this one okay the actual container which contains our uh, data and the UI widgets now let's go ahead and uh, restart it and this time we'll see that if we click over here we don't have this crush yes we do see that white blank screen and that's much better than showing the other one like where you have this crush so yes now when actual context actual item is ready when it is not null so the state would be notified actually states gets notified many times over here so here you could do like this say for example state is cold now here i have a variable that i can define here now the variable i could do int i equals zero all right and then over here when I call it first time I get increased one okay all right so now let's go ahead and check it okay here we are now let's click on this so here you see that okay state is called one times which is being printed from here stated called two times 
So what does that tell you? It tells you that if your item over here get loaded and then if you trigger an event until these things are available in your build method, which is inside over here, so this build method would keep getting called, okay? Until the data, the new data is propagated on your UI, it would get called. So it is safe to check if this is null or not. If this is null, we show an empty container and otherwise we just show whatever the data we have. 